Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Doesn't happen very often, but every now and then, the Church of Nice unveils itself completely, and it becomes low-hanging fruit to just pick off. Most of the time, the Church of Nice adherents speak in vague terms and wrap themselves in obscurities that can take in the unsuspecting. But every so often, the truth slips through the cracks, as a recent posting under one of our download episodes from last December did, where we dissected Alpha to show you all the numerous red flags in it for Catholics. The Alpha program is all the craze sweeping through the Church of Nice these days for turning Catholics into evangelizing machines, or so it claims. Get fired up for Jesus. Have an experience of God. Don't get bogged down in all that boring teaching. It's all about your feelings and being on fire. Alpha is classic evangelical Protestantism, period. Even with a little dose of Catholic spin, the distinctly Protestant flavor of it cannot be hidden. So in the comments under this download episode we aired last December on Alpha, the following comment appeared from Vickerson P. Quote, you guys are missing the point entirely. My wife and I are doing an Alpha course at the moment. I would have to say that I have never experienced God in as powerful a way as we experienced through the Holy Spirit weekend. As my wife has stated, Alpha is not meant to make Catholics. It's meant to help people to meet God. What do you think that Jesus was doing when he was proclaiming the gospel? Making Catholics? If what we are doing in the Catholic Church is so wonderful, why are people leaving in droves? Alpha lets people experience God. After that, you can make Catholics. All the catechesis in the world will just bore people to death without a prior experience of God. Alpha turns bored Catholics into people excited about their faith who want to share it. Surely that can only be a good thing. Ye shall know them by their fruit. The fruit of Alpha is all good. I know because I was one of those bored Catholics. Closed quote. If that doesn't make the exact point that we have been making about Alpha since we first heard of its infiltration, I don't know what does. Let's go through some of the assumptions behind this ill-informed comment. First, quote, I have never experienced God in as powerful a way as we experienced through the Holy Spirit weekend, close quote. Experience is about emotion, evidently, from the way he is phrasing this. That's all fine as far as it goes, but it doesn't go very far. If you are receiving Holy Communion each week, as well as maybe some days in between, and have no experience of God, then you have completely missed the point. Catholics falling for the Alpha propaganda equate emotional excitement, or stimulation, with authentic experience. Almighty God cannot be closer to a person on this earth than when he presents himself to them to be their heavenly food. That is is the definition of experiencing God. If you happen to have an emotional response to that or not, has nothing to do with the reality behind it. Next, quote, as my wife has stated, Alpha is not meant to make Catholics, closed quote. Thank you for coming to the point that we have been making here at Church Militant for years. Yep, the current evangelization craze in the church, evangelization, mind you, is not meant to make Catholics, period, and there you have it from the horse's mouth. That's exactly why it was begun by a Protestant minister in England who does not believe the Catholic Church is the sole means of salvation. Quote, Alpha lets people experience God. After that, you can make Catholics, closed quote. So Catholics sit in this non-Catholic inspired, non-Catholic making emotional workshop, and then they go out and make Catholics? Right. Quote, what do you think that Jesus was doing when he is proclaiming the gospel? Making Catholics? That's exactly what he was doing. What do you think he was doing? Making them feel good? If that's what he was doing, then the Son of God failed miserably because they killed him for what he was saying. Of course he was making Catholics. He established a church, his church, and then commanded the first leaders of that church to go out and teach he also told those first leaders that they would be martyred for teaching the truth. 
All the catechesis in the world will just bore people to death without a prior experience of God, closed quote. Wow, this statement is so profoundly stupid in its breath, you don't even know where to begin. Divine revelation in its fullness, God coming to earth to tell us that we are destined to hell, but he has provided one means of escape and moreover, a way to demonstrate that our love for him. You think that's boring? The only reaction to that ignorance can be profound pity. Sir, you have been misled by a leadership in the church that has kept you from the great beauty and glory and majesty of the Catholic Church. And in answer to your question, if what we are doing in the Catholic Church is so wonderful, why are people leaving in droves? Precisely because leaders are not doing what they should be doing. People die for the truth. Hundreds of thousands of Catholics have committed themselves to torture or death over the centuries for love of the truth, an act of the will, not an emotion. And that truth is completely and utterly present in the Catholic Church. People have been martyred. Tens of millions of others have completely dedicated their lives to the service of the church to spread these boring teachings. Do you realize the great insult that such a posture presents to the apostles, the apostolic fathers, the doctors, the great saints, and the ordinary Catholics who are mostly anonymous? My own mother loved the truth so much that she asked Jesus to send her a heavy cross to save me from a life of horrible sin. She didn't ask to give up her life out of an emotional experience, but out of knowledge of the truth and dedication to it, to her last breath. Frankly, you are insulting every faithful Catholic down through the ages by calling the teachings revealed by a almighty God himself, divine revelation, boring. You are a victim of the Church of Nice hierarchy and leadership and their Protestantized, feminized staffs. And as a brother in Christ, you need to realize that. Someone needs to say it to you. You don't find the teachings boring. What you have found boring is the presentation of those teachings by poorly formed clerics who would not know Catholicism from emotionalism if it hit them in the face. Have you ever heard of Venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen? Have you ever heard any of his recordings and his appeal to the intellect as he presents these divine truths and their corollaries? In all Catholic fraternity, I'm telling you, you have been misled and what you are now experiencing is the fruits of being misled all these years. Come back to the fullness and the glory of the faith. A person cannot have Christ apart from his holy bride, the Catholic Church. They can have an emotional response to something in their psyche, but they can't have Christ. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.